So let's begin with a case scenario. So you're dealing with this baby who is born at 37 weeks, so which is early term with a birth weight of 3100 grams boy. The baby is born to a primary mother by emergency lower se section cesarean section because of meconium stained liquor along with fetal distress. So fetal distress indicates abnormalities in the fetal heart rate either in the form of bradycardia or tachycardia or loss of fetal heart rate variability. All these indicate intrapartum hypoxia. The baby is born with abgars of 3, 5 and 7 at 1, 5 and 10 minutes of life. So this indicates the abgars are low. So anything below 7 is taken as low. So the baby is uh, having evidence of perinatal asphyxia and received positive pressure ventilation for 6 minutes. So this baby is born depressed. On examination, the baby is floppy. Cord pH, cord umbilical arterial pH is 6.99 with base excess of minus 20 and lactate of 15 micromoles per liter. So this is showing evidence of severe metabolic acidosis. A cord pH which is below 7.2 is taken as suggestive of acidosis and base excess which is more than minus 16 is again taken off indicative of metabolic acidosis. Both of these are indicators of perinatal asphyxia and the baby's uh, lactate is also high. So anything more than 3.5 is considered as elevated lactate. So all these are indicators of intrapartum hypoxia and the baby is having neonatal encephalopathy or altered sensorium with excessive irritability. Now this baby after being shifted to NICU develops respiratory distress with uh, tachypnea respiratory rate of 65 per minute more than 60 is taken as tachypnea with Silverman Anderson score of 4 by 10. So this indicates the presence of moderate respiratory distress. The baby started on heated humidified high flow nasal cannula with a flow of 4 liters per minute and FiO2 of 30 percent. The baby develops features of poor peripheral perfusion in the form of weak peripheral pulses, capillary refill time of 4 second again more than 3 second is taken as abnormal. The baby is begun on dobutamine infusion at 10 mics per kg per minute. Blood pressure is more than 5th centile. The baby develops repeated seizures at 3 hours of life and is being managed with phenobarbitone followed by levetiracetam. So we are going to discuss about all the anti-seizure medications today. The baby requires mechanical ventilation at 36 hours and is initiated for on SIMV mode of ventilation and later has to be switched to high frequency oscillator ventilation in view of severe hypoxemic respiratory failure. So this is a video of this baby having seizures. So you can see that there are brief clonic jerks involving the lower limbs and this is accompanied by tachycardia heart rate is 196, tachypnea 76 per minute respiratory rate. So the first number is the heart rate. The, uh, the second number here uh, actually represents, it is actually the saturation, sorry. So there is desaturation um, and uh, heart rate is high. The baby is also having hypotension, 49 by 40. So all these are autonomic disturbances, also indicative of um, neonatal seizure. So you can appreciate that the baby is having clonic jerks involving both the limbs with elevated heart rate, decreased saturations and the baby is having hypotension. So this baby is having neonatal seizures and seizures in the newborn babies differ from seizures in children by number of parameters. Number one, their clinical appearance can be different. How can they be different? 50% of neonatal seizures can be subtle seizures. Subtle meaning there, there can be only movements of the eyes, the limb or the oromotor facial muscles and the baby may not have overt jerks involving the limbs. Um, we shall be discussing the various phenotypic appearances of uh, seizures. They also differ from pediatric seizures by virtue of the electrographic appearances and differences in etiology wherein hypoxic ischemia is the leading cause of neonatal seizures. So the most common seizure cause of seizure in newborns is hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. There is also a difference in the inherent excitotoxicity of the newborn brain which is more immature and is more predisposed to develop epilepsy.